this question is taken from the chapter calculus chapter and more specifically it is it comes under the unit implicit differentiation <clears throat> the question is use implicit differentiation to find an equation of the tangent line to the curve sin x plus y equal to x minus 2y at the point pi pi so let us write the equation of the curve the equation of the curve is sin x plus y equal 2x minus 2y let us write in a linear form so that all the right hand side all the right hand side terms will come to the left hand side so sin x plus y so this will not, now it is in the right hand side so when it comes to the left hand side it will become negative 2x and this is negative so it when it comes to the left hand side it will become positive 2y will be equal to 0 now let us differentiate with respect to <coughs> x. So we have to apply implicit differentiation to get the solution, to get the differenti differentiated form. So d of sin x plus y with respect to x minus 2 dx over dx plus 2 dy by dx will be equal to when you differentiate 0 <coughs> automatically it will be 0 so let us differentiate this one so this term will become cos x plus y differentiation of x plus y over x minus dx by dx is just 1 so I can write it 2 plus 2 dy by dx will be equal to 0. Now we can differentiate this one cos x plus y dx by dx plus dy by dx minus 2 plus 2 dy over dx equal to 0. Now dx by dx is nothing other than 1 so I can replace dx by dx by 1. See, dx over dx. Anything divided by the same thing, the value will be 1. <coughs> so, it is 1. Now, let us remove the bracket mathematically. Cos x plus y times 1. Cos x plus y. Sin plus. Cos x plus y times dy by dx. Cos x plus y times dy by dx. Negative 2 plus 2 dy by dx equal to 0. Now we can collect all the dy by, ta, dy by dx term to one side because the dy by dx term shows the slope of the equation. So we have to calculate first dy by dx. So dy by dx consists of cos x plus y and there is 1 plus 2 will be equal to now I can bring this the other two terms to the other side see as they do not have dy by dx so this negative 2 will go to the right hand side it will become 2 and this cos x plus y will go to that side it will become negative cos x plus y okay now we can find the value of dy by dx I split the board So, dy by dx will be equal to 2 minus cos x plus y over cos x plus y plus 2. Now, we have to calculate the value of this is actually the, this value will give slope. Now, we got to find the dy by dx at the points pi pi x value pi y value pi. So dy by dx will be at pi pi will be equal to 2 minus cos instead of x pi y pi pi plus pi 2 pi cos pi plus pi 2 pi plus 2. You can get the answer from the calculator cos 2 pi is nothing other than 360 so cos 360 is just 1.
So I can check the calculator also. So cos 360 equal to just 1. So 2 minus 1 and cos 2 pi, this is 1 and this one is 2. So 2 minus 1, 1 over 3. So now we got the numerical value of the slope. That is nothing other than m. So the slope is called m. So now you know the value of m equal 1 over 3. Now we are close to the equation of the tangent. So this value is a very important value for this equation. Now we know the we know the tangent line, like tangent line is a straight line. So equation of the straight line will be the general form of the equation of a straight line. Tangent line it is a straight line. O equal to mx plus b. We know the value of m, but we do not know the value of b. So we have to calculate the value of b first. So we have x and y. So we can substitute y equal to pi. M we know already we calculated 1 over 3. Then x again pi plus b. So b equal pi minus 1 over 3 pi will be equal to 1 pi 1 minus 1 over 3. That means 2 over 3 pi. So that is the value of b. Now we can write the equation as we know the value of b. So the equation of the straight line, you tangent line, this is, so y equal, we know the value of m, 1 over 3, x, x, plus b we know, 2 over 3 pi. That's the final answer, is that this is the equation of the tangent line to the given curve, sine x plus y equal 2s minus 2y. I highlight the answer. So here I explain. First I got the equation and I dot all the terms to one side so that it will be easy for our convenience it will be so that it will be easy to differentiate with respect to x. So I dot all to one side. After that I differentiate. Then I apply the implicit differentiation technique. And finally, I got the value for d by dx is equal to 2 minus cos x plus y, cos x plus y plus 2. That is a slope form. d by dx is slope. Now we know the points. So plugging plugging the values of the uh, x and y, I got 2 minus cos 2 pi, cos 2 pi, because this is pi plus pi, 2 pi, pi plus pi, 2 pi. Then we know the cos 2 pi is cos 360. Cos 360 is just 1. So 2 minus 1, 1 plus 2, we got the value of m, 1 over 3. Then we know the equation of the straight, tangent line is a straight line. So this is the equation of the straight line, general form of the equation of the straight line, y equal to mx plus c. Then we have to find the value of the constant b. I know, we know the y. Here is the y by 1 over 3 m. We already calculated 1 over 3 x again pi. So we calculated the value of b is equal to 2 by 3 pi. So the final form of the equation of the tangent line is y equal 1 over 3 x plus 2 over 3 pi. So this question is very helpful for you. I hope it. So please subscribe to my channel so that you can see the new videos in high, senior high school subjects, physics and mathematics. Thank you for watching my video.